welcome to the SOLIDWORKS Visualize Standard Overview. In this video, we will briefly explore the benefits available to you with Visualize Standard, run through installing the software, and then provide a streamlined workflow for getting you started with your first photo rendered image. SOLIDWORKS Visualize Standard is a standalone application that creates high quality images from your CAD files. It can utilize a large array of CAD file types and can be used side by side with SOLIDWORKS through the Visualize add-in or in a separate computer for non-SOLIDWORKS users. Visualize can import any appearances applied to the CAD model, but also comes with a built-in library of assets as well as access to a free cloud library to greatly expand your options. Other assets include high quality HDR environments that control lighting, reflections, and background images. These can be used to match your current photo setup or place your design in a realistic environment. Camera options allow you to adjust things like a real camera or use the SOLIDWORKS controls you already know to get the perfect angles. Perspective, depth of field, and built-in filters allow you to get the look just right. Final images come at a click of a button with preset render profiles, but you also still have options for full control over size, resolution, and quality to get the final product you need for your website, magazine, or presentations. Visualize can use your graphics card, CPU, or even a hybrid of the two to make sure you get the most power out of whatever computer you're using. Let's get started by installing and activating Visualize, a full guide for which can be found on our support page, accessed by going to the Hawkridge Systems main page, clicking support in the top right corner, and then searching for Install Visualize. The first step in the installation process is to get your SOLIDWORKS Visualize standard serial number, which is different than your normal SOLIDWORKS serial number. Your Visualize serial number is found under the My Products section of your customer portal. Downloading and installing Visualize is done through the SOLIDWORKS Installation Manager. This can be found through your Windows search under Add or Remove Programs. In the Apps and Features list, you can search for SOLIDWORKS and then click the Modify option. From the Installation Manager, we will choose Modify Your Installation. Next, expand the Visualize section, click the checkbox, and copy-paste the entire serial number into the first box. From the Product Selection window, we'll find Visualize in the list, click the checkbox, and then hit the Next button at the bottom. On the summary page, you can review the download and install information and start the installation process. Once the installation is complete, open Visualize and the License Activation Manager should start up automatically. Now it's time to use Visualize to create our first image. We will start in SOLIDWORKS, adding basic colors and appearances. Next, we'll use the Visualize add-in to export the model and start a new Visualize project. The add-in menu can be found using the arrow next to the options gear. Find Visualize in the list and click the checkbox to the left to load it up. Once the Visualize Command Manager tab appears, we will click the Export Simple button. Export Simple groups parts by appearance to make later changes simpler, though other grouping options are available and are found when importing from within Visualize. After saving the project, we will run through all of the primary steps needed to prepare our desired image. While the full menu options can be seen in the palette to the right, we will activate Easy Mode from the View dropdown to streamline the process. Easy Mode shows a series of five buttons along the bottom of the screen. If needed, the Import button can add in additional files to our project, including non-SOLIDWORKS file types. The Paint button allows us to change the appearances applied to the model. To add a new appearance, simply drag and drop from the library onto a specific part. Because the parts are grouped by appearance from the Export Simple command, multiple parts will update at once. Next, 
Next is the Scenes button, which controls environments, backplate images, and lights. Like all their assets, we can add to our local library options by downloading from the free cloud library. To download, simply double click on the scene you are interested in. To change the project environment, and thus the lighting and reflection on the model, double click on the environment in the local library. The last major piece of the setup is the camera menu. The camera angle can be changed at any time using the middle mouse button to zoom and rotate. You can also pan using the middle mouse button in conjunction with the control key. The easy mode camera menu allows us to adjust brightness, use preset filters such as boost, and control perspective. The full camera menu will also provide options for setting depth of field or changing the image's aspect ratio. We are now ready to create our final rendered image. Right-clicking the Render button will bring up a list of preset render profiles. Quality is most directly affected by the number of render passes, with models containing transparent appearances generally needing a higher number for good results. The high-quality profile with a thousand passes is a good place to start for most people, but you may find that you prefer more or less passes to get your desired results. Once begun, the Live Render window will appear and allow you to monitor the progress. When complete, the file will save to the Visualize Images folder found in My Documents. You can also navigate there by clicking the folder icon in the Details box. Now that the image file has been created, more can be rendered using different appearances, environments, and camera angles. The process shown in this video is meant to provide the primary steps for getting you started in Visualize. If you would like further instruction to learn all of the tools and options in Visualize Standard, or would like to start creating entire video animations of your designs in Visualize Professional, please feel free to reach out to us and we would be happy to help. For now, thanks for watching.